well, whatever time it is in your time, <laughs> it's early <laughs> here. Happy Switch Up Saturday. Um, hope y'all are doing well. Hope you had a good week. Um, I am like amazed at how fast this week went by really really fast so i had my new co-worker start so i was busy like helping train them and also take care of my job and all the things that you have to do so that it just kind of made the week go by way too fast which means that i'm it's almost time to get ready to go to chicago so i've got the i pulled the suitcases down to figure out which one i want to take I'm trying to figure out, you know, what exactly, trying to figure out what exactly I want to um, wear. I haven't checked the weather there yet. <laughs> you know, I, we're talking, you know, in like the group, like, how many bags are you bringing? You know, like, I, I think I'm bringing too many bags. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm laughing at myself because last year I brought my little roller carry on and then you know a big my never fall to carry stuff and I was fine but I was only there for Friday night all of Saturday and then I left early like midday Sunday so basically a, a full two days maybe but it's really like a day and a half when you think about and I totally brought a ton of stuff but I needed room to bring back stuff so I like I didn't have enough room in what I took last time. So this time I'm looking at what I have. I'm leaving, I'm leaving Friday morning, early Friday morning, and I'm coming back late Monday. So I'm actually going to be there Saturday and Sunday, full days, almost all of Monday. I'm doing a little bit of shopping on Monday and then I come back Monday, late afternoon, that time, coming back in time. So I'll, I'll get here in the evening. Anywho, what I'm trying to say basically is I'll need at least another day and a half worth of clothes at least and then room for shopping. And <laughs> I'm trying to decide between bringing my midsize luggage or my like massive, <laughs> massive luggage. And I'm laughing at myself because the massive luggage, I literally, the last time I carried that luggage was for travel, was to Hawaii. And we actually bought it in Hawaii because the luggage we took had just enough for us to go for the five days we were there. And then we bought a bunch of stuff while we were there. So I needed, we need bigger luggage to come home. So I'm like, that was a five days, you know, almost six days. I'm like, that made sense to have to have big luggage and bring home presents and that kind of stuff. But this is, this is basically a weekend. I don't, I shouldn't need the giant roller luggage. I mean, this is the luggage that we use to move you know, and actually move houses and pack what we needed for, you know, weeks of life. So I'm, I'm laughing at myself that I'm considering bringing this giant, um, piece of roller luggage <laughs> so I'm just going in between like okay so which one makes the most sense but when I think about like oh I'm gonna bring this purse and this purse and this purse I'm like I need a bag a, a suitcase just for the purses <laughs> it's just like is that's not sane it's it, it's not sane but do you but do you all do that because you're what you're one of you're one of me <laughs> do you all do the same thing when you travel or is it like you bring one bag and you're that's all you need and you, that's all you care about and you, know, you leave a little room for what you think you're going to plan and purchase but I I don't know I just know I'm not being I don't think I'm being rational <laughs> I I freely admit it's probably silly but that's where I am right now I'm trying to figure out which which luggage to do plus you know planning the outfits and the shoes and all the things that you had to bring with you because I won't have my house with there with me <laughs> so I want to make sure I have everything I could possibly want or be comfortable in or god forbid you have a stain you need a backup <laughs> you know, what, what happens so I don't know I mean it's just ridiculous how my mind works on some of these things so anyway that's where I am right now so but that's still a week away so this week I still have to work all week um 
Thursday, I have to go in the office all day and do an office day. So that means I have to do all this in advance. That's why I'm so panicked and freaking out. So I still have to plan for work, still have to train, have to do all the things and still have to do the things around the house, all the things for prepping. So it's just a lot to do this week. So so gonna have to pick out fragrances, so gonna do all that things, but I'm like I'm picking the things out for this week and I'll have to like sort of plan next week's stuff as well. So anywho, it's just a lot of chaos, but on to nail check the things. So I just did, you know, coats of this. It of course wears relatively well. It started to peel at the base or not base tips, the tips of the nails and very, very little damage, but that's why I did it. I didn't want to have any maintenance and I'll probably do something similar this week um, to, well, maybe, I don't know. This week will probably be something that I'll wear something a little bit more fun and then in preparation for the trip I'll switch into something more low maintenance so that it won't be a, a problem while I'm gone and not being able to touch up and and fix things but anyway we'll go pick out the fragrances I'll stop babbling about my crazy method of thinking of this trip and we'll circle back when we get to the end I'll be back all right we're over here at the fragrances that we did this week um i mean i wore everything there's that <laughs> is it great mm, yeah plus or minus um i love vanilla, vanilla diorama so not much to say there it was just a tried and true so enjoyed um enjoyed wearing twilly and um twilly de Prov I cannot speak French. So I enjoy wearing those and I kept reaching for them. Um, I liked the Paris Paris. It, I shouldn't say I let, I, I tolerated the Paris Paris. It was fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But when I wore it, I was like, I have this. This seems very familiar. I'm not driven to buy it and I discovered why I have a very similar fragrance from Dior and I even read on Fragrantica that people say that this reminds them of it as well. So um, it's fine. It's just not anything that I need to have permanently in my, in my life if I get a bottle I won't turn it down but I'm not going to go out and buy one myself so there's that um spell on you as much as I love Louis Vuitton fragrances I don't love this scent unfortunately I um it is as floral as floral can be and florals and I I can only take so much it, it really has to be um, like just the right floral. And this is like, I can't even describe how I felt when I put it on. It was like something you would have either your really pungent bouquet in your house or almost like what your a fake flower, like a fake plant that you would buy and you would drop like the essential oil and have it radiate like a glade plug-in almost is what I want to describe it. Like, you know, that, that intense, it was just so much floral that it didn't seem natural or, um, just to, to, it's not my it's not my thing so not my jam if you love iris if you love rose if you love violet if you're all about the floral um heavy scents this is your this is this is your fragrance i am not i am very much not that kind of um fragrance lover and that again is my opinion just my opinion and if that is your thing this is the fragrance for you. You will love it. It is not mine and it will not be purchased. <laughs> and that is okay. Everyone has their own 
favorites out there, but it's, it's not my jam. So we're going to go pick out some other scents and be right back. Okay. So I've, I've gone quite eclectic this week. It's quite, quite, um, quite varied. So, um, I just felt like bringing out Soleil Neige. I don't know why. Um, something about the cool, crisp weather lately. I mean, we went like zero to 60 to fall real fast. It was very chilly a couple days this past week. And I think it's going to be um, as I leave as well. So have that one out. Um, Vanilla Incense, of course, one of my favorite all-time fragrances. I really baby that since it's discontinued. But I just want to have that. Um Speaking of florals, that is a heavy rose scent, and I really do adore Chef d'Or, so I'm going to lovingly wear that. And then we've got Wood Stage and Sea Salt, another very comforting scent, but clean and crisp, so probably for when I go to work this week will be that one. And then last, I brought one out. I have not worn this one at least a year, maybe even two years at this point. Um, my very first House of Siage fragrance, um, Passion de l'Amour. This is, I'll just focus on that. This is a very heavy oud scent. Um, my very first oud fragrance I ever had. I didn't think I would like oud. I don't mind it so much in here, but it definitely is it's rich it's very deep it's heavy um some folks you know the hot tropical nights whatever i think this is it's very sweet it's very gourmand but at the same time very spicy um it's just an interesting heavy scent to me that i feel it's more appropriate during the winter as opposed to hot summer nights um i think this is way too heavy for um the summer in my opinion i mean grant i, I hear it's like it's a sex you know it's, it's a sex of time i you know it's more sex of time when you're all covered up and you get <laughs> just saying um it's the one that makes you want to get uncovered up i guess is what i'm trying to say so it's a very um nice scent it's just you know a little goes a long way with the oud for sure so that is the joy of the week okay so we're putting away i'm actually running out of room i need another another tray good lord okay yeah this is we, we've got a problem um i need to find something that is fun but fall and i think i want to wear this green yeah we're gonna go with modest moss and i may or may not put a topper on it but i'm definitely going with this funky green color okay i double checked to make sure i'm not in slow motion or any other messed up <laughs> area um so the carried mahina this last week she's fabulous she's squishy she's all the things um like i said she's a great bag has tons of functionality but is a black hole as we have discovered she's very much a puddle of ooze when she's not full so i'm gonna hang her back up one i am not using her i i'm actually a horrible mother horrible bag mother i don't put her in her dust bag i keep her on one of these um hangers and i have this um closet rod down here um, I think I've seen it before in between these shelves, there's a, a rod unit and I hang it there and I have several of my bags that didn't come with dust bags that I just keep out at the ready. So it's going to go back down there. So we're getting to the point now where the bags that are left are bags that are duplicates of bags I have used. So I'm not going to grab any of those. So what I mean by duplicates is that the style, I have utilized the style so far on this journey, but it's a different color. So I decided that I am not gonna grab any of those. There are a couple ones that I haven't worn yet just because of the season, I can't wear them. So they're not gonna come out. I mentioned that last week, but 
Um, I'm going to be strategic this week and carry a bag that I'm going to take to Chicago as well, but I am going to use it this week, barely change out of it, throw it in the suitcase, and then next week also show you the bag I'm taking in addition to this to Chicago. So this is my Felici. I haven't carried her in quite some time. In fact, I don't think I've carried her in over a year. Um, Felici is my was was my go-to wallet on chain night out bag the ysl has kind of overtaken that i also have a chanel wallet on chain that i made um from a vintage wallet that i tend to gravitate more towards so felicia doesn't get nearly as much love so felicia needs to come out felicia's coming to chicago and you may notice that I have all the inserts inside and you're going, what, what, what? So <laughs> this is my favorite wallet. So much so that I bought a backup of it. And this is the original that came with Felici. And this is the one I bought off of Fashion File. And this is the one I utilize all the time, but I was so paranoid that I would ruin this that I put this in storage and utilize the one I bought off a of fashion file as my everyday wallet. And then I put this away and store it um, when I take it out. So we're going to carry Felici. The chain is this. Um, on a troublesome with my hair. So I sometimes change it out for a different strap. I have several other gold tone straps um, that I can utilize. I also have a leather strap as well that, that works with it. So depending on my mood, I may do that. But because I have to go to work this week too, um, this works very well. This used to be what I carried um, when I went into the office all the time. This was the thing I put inside my work bag so I could run around in the city and do what I have to do. So I am literally just going to um, put this in here. Where's my phone? Over here. Phone. And the one I usually carry. And because I can't carry this clay in here. Um, I just, I'll be wearing a jacket most of this week. So this will go into my pocket. This will just be my bag. Yep. Stay out here. This will stay in its dust bag and go back into storage and it will go to Chicago. This will stay home and this will go with me to Chicago. And we'll be rocking this for the week. So the Felici, is it a wallet on chain? I guess it's a wallet on chain. So that's that's what we're carrying this week. She's a lovely little bag. Okay, so that's pretty much a wrap. I need to get to errands and the things and all the stuff that we do on Saturday and get this edited and everything out the door. I feel like I'm running out of time. <laughs> and it's, I know I've got several days, but I'm like, I feel like it's tomorrow as if I'm leaving tomorrow. But I, I just, I'm in that like, ah, paranoia chaos. But uh, nail check, here's the green modest moss. I haven't decided. I think I'm going to put a topper on it, but um, I still like it kind of as is but anywho i hope y'all have a great week ahead um thank you to everyone who has been voting on what christmas animation holiday items um i should probably buy from lv it's really going to depend on what i encounter in chicago my um next thing this week to ask you about is Hermes items and actually <laughs> I'm hoping you can talk me out of or talk me into I guess the Apple Watch Hermes. I I've done it before where I've talked myself out of it and I'm really I've been pleased with not getting the Apple Watch Hermes, but this time I'm I'm really like torn because I really want the the latest and greatest one and they're 
now at a um, price point where it's, it almost does make sense, but I'm not sure. I don't know. And it'd be fine to just go ahead and pick it up um, while I'm there. So, um, but I'd rather have some bracelets. I'm just torn. So that's probably why I'm going to film tomorrow or maybe this afternoon for this week's video because I'd like your input before I go to Chicago. <laughs> I know that's a lot asking a lot. So I'll probably put that on Tuesday so that I can read your comments while I'm over there. My appointment is on um, Monday morning. So um have time to make the decision. But I'd like to like kind of know what I'm doing. I know I want to try on different things, shoes and jewelry and perfume and all sorts of other stuff, but figuring out where, what exactly I'm going to spend. And of course I might blow everything shopping at all the other stores the days prior. So maybe this is completely not even worth, you know, talking about because really the whole point of going to the store is to try out the sizes to, to determine what, um, I can fit in for the bracelets and, and the shoes and all that kind of stuff. So that's really, it's really a tryout and not necessarily a purchase trip for Hermes. But, um, you know, I, I said that at Chanel last year and I bought a, I bought an SLG at Chanel. Never thought, never thought I would. So I, I shouldn't say I'm not going to buy anything because I'm probably going to buy a whole bunch of stuff. So. I hope y'all have a great um, week ahead. You're going to see me again before I leave. I will put it up, but it'll be pre-filmed. So <laughs> you're going to see me, you know, delayed. But Stefan and the girls and, and Bamboo will be guarding the house and taking care of things. Maybe they'll upload something to my Instagram on my behalf so that you can see what's happening here. Uh, in Oregon while I'm over in Chicago having a blast and I will see you when I see you so take care bye let's run outside go potty go, go potty I go potty let's do the potties right boo bear yeah are we happy are we happy dogs are we happy dogs Dolly's like I'm out of here I'm over I'm over there mm -hmm.